saying that in order for Clinton to beat Trump in November, she's got to win Florida. In addition to the states that have always been blue, her campaign's spending a little more than $5 million in a new ad blitz there. So what does Clinton have to do to overcome any hurdles with key groups so that she gets Florida and other key states? Look, her playbook I like a lot. She's come out this week and talked about the, her 50-state strategy. It's about time. The first, she'll be the first presidential uh, the first president of the United States on either side of the aisle that gets that if you want to have a legacy, you've got to support state legislative races, you've got to support congressional races and Senate races, and I think she's serious about this, and I'm extremely pleased about it. So, um, you know, she has to do what you said she has to do. Uh, the way, reason why President Obama won uh, was to get the, the, the reliable Democratic states, plus Florida and Ohio uh, and Virginia, and I think we've got a great shot at North Carolina this year. The North Carolina governor is basically incompetent with no spine. He's got a runaway right-wing legislature that's made them the laughing stock of the country. North Carolina is a great state and it has a great future, but it's rapidly being destroyed by the people who are running it. And I think we've got a terrific chance uh, to turn that around in the general election uh, this fall. So, uh, you know, I think the map looks pretty good for us, but you're right. She's got to do the work, and I think she is doing the work. Okay. Howard Dean, Lee Jordan. Good